Asian. <laughs> Dude, you're shooting my seat. <laughs> hey, okay. Who likes booze? I do. I'm uh, gonna show you how to cheat and make some uh, really good infused um, liquors. Uh, I just got, these are some I made a while ago. This is uh, tequila and Cointreau and brown sugar and grapefruit. My parents keep sending me up grapefruit. This is what I do with a lot of them. Um, and this has been jarred since 628. Really good, the brown sugar adds some sweetness to it. This one is uh, brandy. You're a fine girl, it says. Uh, brandy, Cointreau, black plums, bitters, orange zest, and brown sugar. So that's what's in there. And this one is vodka, no label, but it's vodka, raspberries, and orange zest. And I think that's all I had in there. So these are kind of more than an, a true infused um, liquor, which is, is, you know, like really subtle. I'm going for like basically a drink in a jar is, is what it is. It is pretty much all straight booze and fruit. Um, they'll just stay right there or not. Um, what a lot of people will do after this has been in here for say a week or something is they'll uh, run it through cheesecloth and um, and then bottle it something like this which is nice but it looks sort of act like normal booze I like the chunkier stuff um, we'll take it to parties or, or uh, fires or um, weddings and we'll just sit and sip out of the jar pass it around eat the fruit so that's good uh, today we're gonna do uh, Grilled pineapple and nutmeg infused rum. This way. Okay, here's the supplies. Um, I've been using these this size jar lately. The smaller jars work too. Um, evidently, when you're when you're uh, actually canning stuff, you boil all this, um, and, and you know that's all important. I don't think with the booze it's that important based on what I've been able to research. I'm not making preserves. Well, we'll preserve you. Um, so you need jar and um, nutmeg is one of the ingredients. This is, we've got this huge jar of nutmeg that we brought back. Uh, we brought back a whole bunch from Grenada. I don't know if you can even buy whole nutmeg, um, but maybe you can. If you live by me, let me know, I'll get you some. Um, but one of the things we're going to do is just kind of crack that in half. I'll take the chunk that didn't fall on the floor. Actually, it's kind of small. I'll take the chunk that fell on the floor. So inside, this is a nutmeg, and that usually gets grated. Um, I've been told not to use grated nutmeg in the in in an infusion like this. It just gets messy. So I use uh, stand by. This is the perfect size. I'll use a chunk of nutmeg like that. It stays all in one place. Oh, does that smell good? Ah, I love it. Um, okay, as far as pineapple goes, um, I'll show you an easy trick to peel pineapple. Which, what you do to peel a pineapple is you grip it right here and you pull back like this, and this piece comes right off. And then, <laughs> then you take it like this, and just that quickly it's peeled and cord. I actually always buy them this way because I can never seem to guess when a pineapple is ready to go. So uh, as far as ripeness goes. So I'm just cutting some slices. There we go. La la la. Da da da. This is more pineapple probably than we need. We'll eat some of that. So, that, this part's just grilling pineapple, basically. It's not too tough. Um, and let's go this way. Get a little closer, why don't you? All right, so uh, the grill is pretty hot. I don't want to cook these real long. Um, I just want to blacken them a little bit. It, it gets them to caramelize, and, and that that's, makes it even a little sweeter in the drink, which is nice. And uh, and it gets that smokiness. <laughs> oh, 
What? So, uh, nothing. Uh, so, okay, grilled them up like this. Like I said, they're not super soft. They're still pineapple-y. But we just wanted to get a little bit of that black in there. And then, um, I cut them up into smaller chunks now. I used to go, like, with, you know, like, as close to whole slices as possible. I do chunks like that size now. Uh, the pineapple, people usually really like it. The booze, interestingly enough, anchors itself in the fruit. So people think, oh, I'll just have a piece of the fruit. That's usually way stronger than the, the liquid itself, um, as far as flavor goes. Um, but this, that especially this, pineapple is so strong anyway, um, that it really flavors the, the liquor a lot. If you're doing this like for real in a highfalutin kind of way, um, the, the peel or the shell, the rind of the pineapple is actually what they use. Uh, it's kind of like orange zest. I guess that's where all the oils are. But we're not, uh, we're not trying to be subtle here. This is a pass around a fire kind of a drink. So you just go all in. Um, this one's going to be super sweet because rum is already sweet and then the pineapple. Um, on other ones like grapefruit and tequila, that's where I add things like Cointreau is a great one to add always as a sweetener. Uh, Cointreau is like a just basically a really nice triple sec. Um, all right, so I don't know if I can recommend a mob knife ever. That's what was available. Okay, so first thing I just throw the fruit in to the jars. Just do one here for now. And I'll fill it up pretty pretty good, um, you know, something like that. And because it is going to be so sweet, and because a lime makes anything in the world better, I'm going to squeeze in a chunk of lime. And then uh, let's see what else we got here. Go with some rum. This. Plantation rum, by the way. Obviously, I don't get paid to say anything, but this is a phenomenal rum. Twenty-three dollars. It's not priced much higher than any other, um, you know, kind of normal rum. I think it's fantastic. Um, oh, and it's got a cork. And listen, listen to this. That's the good stuff. Can't normally advise against or advise for any kind of booze that has extra crap on the bottle. This is an exception. This is really good rum. Just dump it in. I might just for fun add a little Myers dark rum, which is only going to make things even sweeter. But so it goes. A little bit of that, little extra ingredients. Um, bitters are awesome. Angostura is good. There's a lot of all kinds of new bitters too. But a little bit of bitters in any drink, any fruit tropical drink, adds a little complexity and a little yumminess. What else? That's it. I'm going kind of simple with this one because the pineapple is already bringing so much to it. I fill it to the top. Screw the cap on. Really good and tight. Oh, geez, I forgot the nutmeg. The key part. Chunk of nutmeg. Bloop. Then screw the cap on. Give it a, a few rotations like that. I'll put it in the fridge. Um, within a week, this will be pretty delicious, but within a month, it'll be really delicious. Um, this one's gonna be a super sweet one, so you might wanna cut it with something while you're drinking it or just pass it around. Um, I would suggest doing this every couple of days in the fridge. Um, that's it. Is that it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. Cheers.